MCC Season 4 kickoff is all wrapped up with the events being this past Saturday, and I'd call it a huge success for many reasons. One of them being the introduction of MCC's newest minigame, Railroad Rush. So I decided it'd be the perfect time to revisit TierMaker.com and rank every MCC minigame in a tier list. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as it helps out the channel a ton and I'd really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright, so first up we have Battle Box. I'm gonna give Battle Box a solid A tier. I don't think it's one of the best games, but I think it's still a solid game nonetheless. Like, I love Battle Box, and Battle Box is very fun for some teams. I just personally wouldn't put it above, like, a ton of other games into S tier. But I can see some people putting it in S tier. Like, if you put Battle Box in S tier, that's a valid ranking. But me personally, I'm gonna give it A. Next up we have Ace Race. Ace Race, I feel like, is a pretty easy S tier. It's literally the best lap-based racing game out there for Minecraft, for Minecraft events. I mean, you got Block Wars race you got pb speed run i think ace race is easily the best lap based race game out of all of the games in that genre in the entire minecraft event community so yeah ace race pretty obvious s tier and uh our first s tier of the list next up we have bingo but fast i'm gonna give bingo c tier i think it's just bingo at the end of the day like it's pretty basic bingo but fast is definitely a better like bingo mini game and then past bingo mini games than mcc's had so i'll give them that but if we're talking about mcc games in general out of all of these i would say bingo's probably c tier it's not one of my favorite games because it's a decent team game just not like one of the best like mini games overall so that's why i'm giving it c tier i feel like that's a pretty fair ranking next up we have grid runners sadly i'm gonna have to give grid runners c tier it was definitely a fun game when it first came out but now it's kind of gotten a little bit boring just because they don't update the rooms enough and to be honest it probably wasn't on the roster for this past event because they didn't have enough updated rooms yet which is totally fair because i bet new rooms do take a while to make a little too much based off of uh brand new content so when it isn't when it lacks new content it does get kind of boring so i'm gonna give it c tier for right now but if they do come out with really cool new rooms maybe i'll maybe i'll bump it up to b tier but for right now i'm gonna give it c tier next up we have parkour tag Ooh, where do i put parkour tag Ooh, low key it might be nah i don't think it's s tier i think it's a tier to be honest i think parkour tag is a very solid a tier i could see people putting in an s tier i mean it is one of the best parkour games out there but but for mcc standards i feel like it's a tier i don't know it, it does work as a finale game like parkour tag's a pretty underrated finale game it's just it's known for getting played pretty early in the events so that's why it's never really been a finale game but the one or two times it's been played as a finale game it's actually been pretty entertaining so if it was played more consistently later in the event i'd probably give it s tier but it's less important and just kind of like quote unquote boring i guess if you want to say that it, when it's played in the beginning of the event it definitely is skill based but also there is some luck involved so so there are teams that you know you wouldn't expect to be good at parkour tag to actually really do really well in it so that's what i like about the game but for right now yeah i feel like a tier is pretty solid for it next up we have hole in the wall Hole in the Wall, I feel like, is a perfect B-tier game, not gonna lie. It's not too good, but it's also not too bad, to be honest. Like, it's not one of my favorites, but it's also not one of the worst games out there that I absolutely hate. So, I'll, I'll give it B-tier. Next up, we have Sand of Time, which is probably the easiest S-tier of my life. I mean, Sand of Time is literally the GOAT game. Like, it's literally one of the best games ever invented in the entirety of Minecraft's history, and it just works so perfectly. Like, everybody loves puzzles, man. I mean, even the people that hate puzzles love puzzles, if you know what I mean. But yeah, <laughs> and Sand of Time is so fun, man. Anybody can do good at it. You can do whatever you want. The only part that's not fun is when they die in the actual, like, Sand of Time arena, if you want to call it that, which I guess is a part of the game. At the end of the day, it's a mechanic in the game so it's whatever but i still think nonetheless it's a really cool game that definitely deserves a lot of praise next up we have parkour warrior Mm, I think Parkour Warrior, I'm probably going to give it C tier. I mean, at the end of the day, Parkour Warrior is just parkour in, it, in a skill-based course. So I guess it is pretty, like, you know, straightforward, but it's also kind of, like, mid. I mean, it's compared to the other MCC mini games, it definitely is one of the least strongest games. So I'm going to give it C tier for right now. I wouldn't give it D tier. I just think it's not, it's not on par with these other games up here. So I think C tier is pretty fair. Next up, we have Dodgeball to the finale game. I think if Dodgeball was like a mini game, like an actual mini game where teams first each other and like a round based thing, kind of like Battle Box, I feel like Dodgeball could be S. But because it's the finale, I'm going to give it A tier. I think Dodgeball is a solid finale all around. I don't know if it's the best finale out there. I don't think it's the worst, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the best. It definitely is really fun, though, and I do enjoy a good Dodgeball. I don't know. I'm probably not going to give it S tier just because there are some Dodgeballs that are very one sided, and that's when it gets very unentertaining. Un but other than that, I mean, I guess technically 
seemingly any team always has a chance to win, so you never know. So that's that's why it has potential to be yes, but for me personally, I'm gonna give it A. Next up, we have Sky Battle. Ooh, controversial take. Sky Battle D tier. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Sky Battle is S tier. Come on. I mean, it's literally the best sky based PvP game out there. And uh, yeah, it definitely is hated on a lot for really no reason. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like everybody just kind of hates Sky Battle for no reason. I, I, I always consider Sky Battle one of the best games MCC has ever done because they kind of spawned a whole new genre of like quote unquote Sky Wars based games. And you know, now you got all the other sky based PvP games in all the other minecraft events and i feel like sky battle is definitely the best out of all of those and it does have a really cool unique take on sky wars so i'm gonna give it s tier and i don't think you can really make an argument for any lower tier to be honest so yeah it's very entertaining also even the worst teams than sky battle still have a pretty entertaining pov because literally anything can happen man i mean tnts and creepers are going everywhere <laughs> next up we have rocket spleef rush Ooh, i'm probably gonna give it B tier? No, I don't know. B or A. I'm probably going to give it B tier. I do like the MCC I mini game better than the actual MCC game. It's probably just because I'm able to play it. I, I like playing RSR more than I do like watching it. I also don't like the fact that they put the Elytra durability thing in this uh, version now. I don't, I don't really like that fact. Uh, it'd probably be A tier if there wasn't any dur Elytra durability, but I'm going to knock it down a tier just because of that. It definitely makes it less skill-based because you're not able to do Elytra hopping as much as you would like to. So yeah, definitely takes it down a notch. But other than that, Rocket Split Rush is a perfectly fine game. I think it's definitely better than the original RSR. I'll give it that. And yeah, I think B tier is pretty fair ranking. Next up, we have Meltdown. I'm probably going to give Meltdown A tier, to be honest. I think Meltdown's a pretty solid, like, arena-based PvP game. I don't know if it's... A, I guess it is an arena, but it definitely is the closest thing we have to Valorant and MCC, so I'll give it I'll give it that. And even if you're not a quote-unquote PvP team, you can still do pretty good in this game, so that's what I like about it as well. And it's very unique, too. There's no, really no other game out there like it. So that definitely gets it some points, and I'm, I'm not going to put a B tier. I think it's very entertaining, and I think A tier is, like, the perfect spot for Meltdown. Next up, we have Build Mart. Build Mart is S tier. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm putting Build Mart in D tier. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Build Mart is just not that fun of a game. I think they very much need a rework on Build Mart. So hopefully, either next event or the event after that, they come out with a Build Mart rework. And I really, really hope they do because, man, I mean, if they bring it back in its current state, it definitely is going to get some hate, you know? So I think, I think Build Mart needs a rework. And uh, that's why I'm going to keep it in D tier for now. But once it gets a rework, and hopefully the rework is good, um, I could see it going up here. Or maybe Build Mart just needs to be a remix every time. Maybe just remix Build Mart every single event you have it in. That could work. That could work too. But hey, if you have a problem with Build Mart being in D tier, make sure to comment down below where you would put Build Mart because I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this game. Next up, we have to get to the other side and whack a fan. Ooh, T G T T O S A W A F. I think I said that right. Ooh, we're gonna give to get to your side B tier. It's fun in the event, but like, dude, it's so RNG based, man, just because of the punching, and that's why I really don't like watching it. It's just so, like, I don't know, it's so unfun, especially when, like, your streamer or whoever you're watching is getting punched all the time, dude. It's so annoying to watch. So, yeah, I don't know. I, that's why I think it knocks it down. A peg, I'd probably put it in A tier, but because of the punching just constantly ruining everybody's day, I'm going to put it in B tier. I don't. Th I think you probably have to be pretty crazy to put it in S tier. I don't think anybody out there would put it in S tier. Hopefully not. So, I think B tier is the perfect spot for to get to your side because it's not too bad, but it's also, you know, not the best by any means. Next up, we have survival games. SG. Where am I going to put SG? SG is D. No, I would never put SG in D tier. I love SG too much. Ooh. I'm going to have to give it S tier, guys. I know last time I ranked the MCC games, I gave it S tier, and I'm going to have to do it again, baby. Come on. SG is not that bad, guys, okay? Yes, it definitely is RNG-based a lot more than people would think it'd be, but hey, it's also still very much skill-based, and I love the two aspects of that. And also, the SG maps MCC has made, bro, are some of the best, like, map design I think I've ever seen for SG in general. So yeah, I love this mini game, and I hope they don't take it out of the roster one day, because that'd be really sad, and my heart would be definitely a little broken after that so hopefully they never take it out maybe if they give it a remix here and there it could be more fun for the casual players the casual viewers but i think sg right now is a perfect mini game and i don't think they should change anything about it i definitely think it's the best sg out there i think the gulag is an interesting idea i don't think they would ever bring that to survival games and mcc though maybe they would someday maybe it'd be an interesting gulag like a sumo gulag or something like that i don't know maybe that would take too long though but like i said sg is perfect where it is right now so i'm gonna give it s tier and uh hopefully they don't take it off the roster and last, but certainly not least, we have Railroad Rush. 
Ooh, the last and also newest MCC minigame. Ooh, I'm going to give Railroad Rush D2. No, I'm kidding. A tier, baby. This game is actually fire. I thought it was very confusing at first. I was like, a railroad-based game? What are they thinking? And then I really looked into it, and I was like, okay, it's still kind of confusing. And then I saw them play it, and I was like, oh, wow, this game's actually very fun. It's on par with some of the best MCC minigames out there, man. It's very, very fun. And also, it's a very casual minigame. You can do very well at this game, and you don't even have to be that good of a team at really anything. You just have to know what you're doing and have decent team communication, and you can do pretty darn good at this game, which is really fun to see because really any team can pop off. And that's why I think it's the second best team game right behind Sands of Time, man. The Railroad Rush is a genius minigame idea and a very smart addition to the gamers roster by Nox Crew. so hats off to them because they did a great job with this game. But yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for my MCC Games tier list, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you agree with my rankings. And if you don't agree with my rankings, comment down below why you don't agree with my rankings or comment down below your own rankings because I'm always interested to see what you guys think. But anyways, until next time, peace.